Hey, good Sunday to you. I'm Storm Team 9 Meteorologist Patrick Ells here with your ENC weather update for this May the 5th, 2013. Clouds abound across eastern North Carolina today. Even seeing a few showers starting to move inland, that's as expected. We're, we bumped up the uh, rain chances to about 20% this afternoon. Later on, it'll be up to about 30 or 40% as the, uh, that cold core low moves on top of us later on through the first portion of the week. But I think the rain showers move in here late tonight and into your Monday. So here we are looking at the uh, water vapor and 500 millibar meta-analysis and basically that low is sitting right around Starkville, Mississippi at this point and uh, it's moving slowly off towards the east and uh, I'll put this in motion for you and, uh, and you can see over the past several hours, uh, over the past 24 hours or so, hasn't moved very much. This is what we call just this bowling ball low. Uh, and one of my friends said said this during his newscast last night. It's basically like a tire that's lost its way and has it has nowhere to go at this point. And that's kind of what's happening. This tra the traction of this tire is basically just lost and hasn't moved very quickly over the past couple of days. Thankfully, it will start to eject out, but it's got to move across us to do that, and that won't happen until probably on um, late Monday into Tuesday. So here we are looking at the 12Z 4 kilometer NAM output and uh, like I'm seeing on Live Viper 9 right now it's verifying fairly well as far as the shower output is concerned. We've got a few showers kind of streaming in off of the Atlantic this afternoon and uh, I think that's going to be a story through this afternoon. Uh, just a few showers, nothing major. Temperatures mainly in the 60s. A few areas north of US 64 are likely going to stay in the upper 50s to low 60s. Right around Highway 264 in the middle 60s and closer to the Highway 70 corridor. You have been able to make it to 70, but I think the temperatures start to cool down, especially with uh, some of these showers moving through uh, your neck of the woods over the next couple of hours. Here we are at 8 o'clock tonight. A few more showers moving in here as we head through the evening hours, so that's why we're going to bump up the uh, rain chances through the evening hours. Then tomorrow, that's when we really start to get wet, and uh, we'll fast forward here to 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, and you see a good coverage of light showers and maybe some heavier downpours uh, going into tomorrow morning. So have the umbrellas ready to go tomorrow, because you'll need it probably for Tuesday as well as into uh portions of your Wednesday as well, not only for your Monday. Uh, we'll continue to move on through the afternoon hours, still with scattered rain chances through the day of Monday. So keep the raincoats with you. It will be a cooler day, I think. Uh, most of us will be likely in the 60s tomorrow. Uh, and the cold core low is still basically sitting on top of Georgia, uh, right around um, Randolph County, Alabama. And uh, finally, we'll start to eject out through the afternoon hours of Monday and into Tuesday, but uh, we've got to get there first. So this little wave first is going to be some heavier downpours, maybe a little bit of hail, but no severe weather possible. I, I, just not any any surface-based instability, really not that much instability to work with with this system as it's uh, moving towards us. But the main threat, I think, will be more so in the way of small hail and a few embedded thunderstorms. I'm not expecting anything uh, crazy, but a few embedded elevated thunderstorms are going to be possible uh, as the system finally starts to move closer to us. Here we are Tuesday morning, 2 o'clock in the morning, some heavier downpours still plaguing us across eastern North Carolina. The low is still back over Georgia. Eventually it starts to eject closer to us. And I think by Tuesday, that's when we could see the best chance for seeing some of that heavier uh, downpours and maybe some hail. Uh, but like I said, no severe weather with this system, but uh, likely some small hail with that cold air aloft. That's going to allow for some hail production in the upper atmosphere. So here we are on the uh, 6G, uh, the 12Z GFS run. Uh, you see the low uh, basically sitting on top of uh, the Alabama-Mississippi state border. It will start to move on out of here, but look what's going on here. We've got a secondary low that's got, kind of cut, cut off from the main flow. You see the main flow up into Canada. These two systems have just gotten cut off, and they're not being picked up by the southern stream or the northern stream. And uh, we're just kind of stuck in the middle. They're just, they've just lost their way, basically. And so we have this secondary low, basically, uh, right around San Francisco. We have a ridge in the middle, which will bring warmer temperatures eventually to us as we head towards the latter half of the week. But we got to get this little bugger out of here first. Here we are uh, Monday morning. And the low is basically over uh, Knoxville, Tennessee at that point, southern Tennessee, southeastern Tennessee. 
Uh, we'll transition that and, and we'll move it towards Wednesday, uh, Tuesday night and uh, the lows over Asheboro at that point. Rockingham area. It's on top of us. And that's likely where we're going to see the best chance for seeing some hail uh, with some of this uh, this system. It starts to shear out finally as we head towards Wednesday. So I'm keeping a slight change for rain in the forecast for Wednesday as that low still is on top of us. Um, but look what happens as we head towards Thursday. The low starts to eject out of here slowly. And I think maybe still a change for showers on uh, on uh, on. Thursday, but then the ridge starts to build in here on uh, Thursday into Friday, but it starts to break down fairly quickly, heading towards Friday afternoon. But you still see a nice little ridge. Here's uh, the 576 line, uh, 579 line rather, uh, down towards Wilmington and uh, Cape Fear. So we're going to start to see a little warmer temperatures. I've got temperatures closer to 80 uh, as we head towards the latter half of this upcoming work week. So that's good news for us, but look what happens. The ridge breaks down, and then we start to get this this other trough starts to get in here. That's that secondary load that was back over towards California uh, that's currently over California that's going to be moving through the southern plains. The main jet stream gets a, another little node going on up here, and eventually that all kind of melds together, all phases up. Uh, and I think we're just going to see some rain chances as we head towards the latter half of the week and then towards uh, next week. And this is a cooler look once again as we head towards Sunday. But I, I think the GFS has been a little bit warmer. I, even looking at the latest numbers, most numbers have us closer to 85 degrees on Sunday. I'm thinking closer to 78, 79 uh, for next Sunday. As that trough starts to get its act together, here's Monday, and you see a deep trough, uh, 573, and we're in that uh, that PVA zone at that point, and then starts to move on through. Look at the ridge back off to the west, though. This is valid for Monday evening, next uh, Monday morning of next week. Look at this huge ridge back off towards the west. That's some warm air, uh, and in the longer range, I think we start to get a little bit warmer, closer to normal temperatures for this time of the year. But we got to get there first. So here's the rain output, and you see that cold core low basically sitting on top of the Alabama state border as we speak. Starts to move into our area. Here's uh, 8 o'clock tonight. We're already starting to see some of the showers moving in. Uh, I think that's a good bet for us this evening. Tomorrow, a good rain chance once again across eastern North Carolina. Here is uh, 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, and we're talking about rain chances mainly south of US 70, but then starting to increase through the afternoon hours. I think really uh, the best rain chances start to move in here as early as maybe midnight tonight, some of it, and then uh, really ramping up through the afternoon as we go towards uh, 8 o'clock tomorrow, still with a good chance for rain. That cold core low starts to warm up a little bit, so it's not as cold but it's still a, a fairly deep low uh, it starts to stack up here you see here's the 552 uh, deca heights uh, deca, deca meters here 552 and the low the center of low pressure for the actual surface is in the middle of that so we've got a stacked low and that's why I'm saying that there's the potential for some hail with this as that cold core low starts to bring down some of that cooler air out of the upper atmosphere and transfers it down towards the surface uh, we transition into uh, early uh, early evening hours of Tuesday, and the low is basically sitting on top of us once again. And a good swath of rain still sitting on top of us, so we're going to continue to see rain. Here's Wednesday morning, and some showers outputting here. Low still sitting over North Carolina, um, so we'll continue with some rain chances for Wednesday. The uh, surface low starts to move off the coast, but I think coastal areas still with chances for rain for Thursday, so I'm going to hold to my guns with that. Coastal areas still with the chance for rain. I think deeper inland, you can see some sunshine moving in through the afternoon hours as that low finally starts to move on out of here. And then here we are Friday. I don't think we go completely dry on Friday, but uh, maybe a few chances for showers for Friday afternoon. Um, but low rain chances in general for Friday as uh, we start to see a little bit of high pressure moving in here that gets us a little bit on the warmer side as that ridge moves in then it starts to break down with that ridge breaking down so quickly that's when the return of the uh, chances for showers move in here here's Saturday afternoon and we're talking about rain chances once again and then eventually that all that that trough starts to get together and uh, and finally moves over us. This is something to watch here. This is a uh, Monday. Uh, this is Sunday evening. Next Sunday evening, 
and we've got a low pressure center just off to our north. That's something to watch. I'm not expecting severe weather at this point, but uh, definitely something to watch. I think we'll just have a, uh, a squall line type of situation, but not looking like severe weather at this point. All right, that'll do it for the ENC weather update for this May the 5th, 2013. You can watch us on TV tonight at 6 as well as 10 on the CW and 11 o'clock right back on uh, WNCT Gannon's in tomorrow morning for morning edition starting at 5 o'clock in the morning on WNCT. And Chief Meteorologist David Sawyer will be back in tomorrow evening as well. You can keep up with us on Facebook, Twitter, and also on WNCT.com. Have a great evening and hopefully keep the, uh, the raincoats with you over the next couple of days because it definitely will be a wet one.